this until I found this photo from Grand Mere State Park. This is from Joshua Nowicki. And what you're seeing here is a mirage. We typically would not be able to see this from the Lake Michigan shore. We talked about this last night. Conditions are right on the lake that we're actually seeing a mirage of the Chicago skylight. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. Very interesting here. Here's what's happening. This is a, a good example of a superior mirage. So Joshua was on the Lake Michigan shore. He was looking towards the west and Chicago's beyond the horizon. Should not be able to see it. However, with the right conditions, we have an inversion. We have cold air near the cold lake water and some relatively warmer air above it. This will bend the image of that uh, skyline back towards the viewer. And so typically we would not be able to see this. This image would be viewable from much, much higher in the sky up in space. Here we are at the throne. Number two, right here. I'll show you. But you see it's pretty small, so you have to have pretty good aim and you'll be, be ready to make sure things get let go the right direction. And it smells a little bit, so I'm closing it up. And that's, of course, for number two. And this guy right here is for number one. So they're sort of two slightly separate functions, but you can do a little, essentially both, by hanging on right here and doing number one and number two. Chicago's beyond the horizon, should not be able to see it. However, with the right conditions, we have an inversion. We have cold air near the cold lake water and some relatively warmer air above it. This will bend the image of that uh, skyline back towards the viewer. And so typically, we would not be able to see this. This image would be viewable from much, much higher in the sky up in space. But instead, we're able to see it on the Lake Michigan shore. Very fascinating, and that's the same reason we're actually seeing this ring on the radar tonight as well because of the inversion we call it atmospheric ducting. It's bending the radar rays back towards the ground. So even on a clear night, we have some interesting weather. Oh, come on now. That ain't even bullshit. That's horse shit.